Он, 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 он выше это, каратистский окушин. А значит проиграет он. Ничего не сделает против этого не очень. Ну, я думал, он выиграл, я думал, выиграл. Ну вердун, 40 лет человеку, что ему? Уже, блин, еле-еле на ногах держится, блин. Ему давно уже уходить, блин, тренировать просто, мастер классы давать. А Бахмачили, да? Да, больше ничего ему делать нечего. Ему уже за 40, уже 41 или что-то такое. Ну, он бахмачит, а у него боится по 500 тысяч долларов. Но он из-за этого и висит. Просто UFC тоже его держит. Просто из-за из того, что он вердум, у него имя. И можно на этом, блин, пей собрать. Деньги хорошие сделать. Из-за этого его держат его. А так я бы ушел на его месте. Он Федора выиграл, Веласкеза выиграл. Всех чемпионов выигрывал он. Все, он карьеру хорошую сделал. Можно уходить спокойно, блин. Чего он держится? Ну, сейчас проиграл, так же, как Да, вот, вот то же самое, блин, нечему ему. После, после 40 лет его не, нечего делать, блин. Он вообще ну, не в своей манере дрался. Знаешь, у них такое, в конце, чем больше бабла набрать, там, знаешь, и уйти, вот так они уходят. Он последний, вот, до этого, до этого, до этого, до этого, Run that bike rover, go ahead, just go ahead. Я смотрел один фильм, охота на банк или на банке, что ли, 2018 года. Там играет Марс Алвы, Майкл Питтин. Да, да, там есть, они в фильмах снимались. So you guys, I'm back. Uh, we came into Trader Joe's. It's a whole like <laughs> long story. But anyways, I'm in the alcohol section. We came in, we got some groceries. We were totally disorganized. And then um, he got some beer. Okay, boyfriend, I told, I told him, go get some beer so you can calm down because he was getting all bratty. And then afterwards I was like, wait a minute though, is that gonna be enough like for him? He's gonna take those beers. He drank the other beers that were supposedly for me in the apartment already <laughs> over the week, like throughout the week. But so now I'm like, okay, I need to pick something out. I'm back in Trader Joe's. He's in the car, uh, chit chatting with his boyfriend. So yeah, I don't know what I want to get you guys. I'm totally lost. Hello, oh, how are you? So here I am. I'm gonna try and do like this turbo Trader Joe's haul before boyfriend gets here from parking the car. Um, I tried recording this once and then he called wondering if I had gotten all the bags out of the car, which I did. And so I'm here trying to record this again. But anyways, we went out to Evanston. It's like a town north of Chicago. Went to the Dollar Tree Hall. Um, went to the Dollar Tree Hall. Did Went to the Dollar Tree bought some stuff he's home <laughs> he's been a real brat you guys okay let me tell you oh my God. anyways uh, I just I, I just parked the car you're already well I had, to re I had to re record things I had to start oh. over <laughs> so we okay we went into Trader Joe's twice the first time we went in there we were totally disorganized we were just carrying stuff uh boyfriend's gonna make uh some stewed meat with potatoes how much uh three pound of potatoes three pound of potatoes i love the packaging it's so cute um just enough for our dinner and maybe a little leftover Three pounds of russet potatoes for $1.99. The natural stew meat. Sorry for the lighting changes. This is vlog style, okay? Um, there's that. So we got almost two, wait, almost two pounds for about 13 bucks. Something like that. Um... It said all kinds of good stuff on it. No antibiotics, no hormones, or sorry, no added hormones. And it's free range, so we'll see. I need to get that over here by the sink. What else? Now we got some vegetables. I did get some frozen vegetables from Dollar Tree. The broccoli cuts from Picked Farms or something like that. I don't know. I like those. I like that brand. But boyfriend wanted more vegetables. Um, so he got this vegetable melange. Melange. Melange in French, I believe, means mix. So, and it has, um, it's seasoned in butter sauce. So that's nice. No preservatives, artificial colors, or flavors. It looks like there's, what's in here? 
green peas, carrots, cauliflower florets, and sweet corn. Sounds good to me. So yeah, maybe I should put those in the freezer real quick. Because who knows when we're going to start cooking. And here's the one that I got from Dollar Tree real quick. What is it? Pick Sweet Farms. That's the brand. I didn't go total like ham in the dollar store just because I felt kind of rushed. Boyfriend was waiting in the car. I was trying to do like a Dollar Tree date and he wasn't having it. He was, you know what he was doing? He was talking on the phone with his boyfriends. They were on a three-way phone call for like the past three hours. I'm not even messing with you. It was pretty sad to go from Dollar Tree date idea to your boyfriend <laughs> in a three-way call for hours. I don't know how that happened, but it is, it's, it's, yeah, great. So the next one we got, I hope the lighting's not bad, you guys. Uh, the Caesar salad mixed so it's already a complete salad and i know guys i know you can get like i know maybe like the value isn't the best or whatever but i just feeling lazy and i thought this would be nice because it comes with the croutons the shredded parmesan cheese and the dressing but it contains no egg or eggs or anchovies so we'll see how that goes because i like egg and anchovies and I mean that's really what makes up the the Caesar dressing so anyways we'll see how that goes let me put this in the fridge really quick how much was that I'll have to check I dropped the receipt of course kitty kitty's over here she's always with me when I'm doing my hauls and stuff um that was $3.99 for 15 ounces so okay and then last few things oh I need to put these in the freezer too I got these I thought these were cool so we were like totally squirrel in there like very scatterbrained and I was just all over the place but I managed to pick these out and Trader Joe's just coconut chunks are exactly that nothing but coconut eat by themselves as a snack Mm -hmm. or add to smoothies which is what I was um, hoping for fruit salads or anywhere else you want the taste of fresh coconut so it says okay here's some info so you need to thaw them out before you use that's what I was wondering remove desired amount thaw for 4 to 12 hours in the fridge so I guess like if I want to use them in a, a smoothie I'll need to thaw them out first. That's what I was wondering. You know, I was wondering if I could just throw them in frozen, but I guess not. Anyways, boyfriend's cooking. Tight spaces. Okay, guys, and the last few items. I got some rice drink organic unsweetened oh my gosh really <laughs> while i'm trying to film he's watching his russian what's the name of the show <laughs> show me one of your beers so i can show them the beer that you got Imported lager beer. This glare is not working with me. And Peter's brand. It's a Dutch style Pilsner. Product of Germany. Is it vegan? I have no idea. I don't care. <laughs> How much was the beer? Let's see. Six uh, the six cans of beer for six ninety nine. Okay. And then the milk. Uh, one ninety nine for a quart. You're really cramping my style. <laughs> okay, last few items. We needed honey. I've been holding on to the last bits of honey that we have over there. So I like this one because mesquite reminds me of Texas. 
It's, oh, it says it's product of Mexico. So, and yeah, it's from Mesquite Trees. So that should be interesting. My favorite honey so far is thistle seed honey. If you've ever heard of that or tried it. And the honey was $6. Oh, gosh. Okay, last few items. Ginger paste. I love cooking with ginger. We'll use this in teas also. Um, how much is this? This is 2.8 ounces. We do usually buy it like fresh, but I thought that was convenient. The ginger stir in paste, 2.8 ounces for $1.99. And then you've been loud all day. All day he's been so loud. Then I got this one right here. I'm really excited. This apparently the clerk at Trader Joe's says this is new. Um, I think new in store. Maybe you could. Maybe it was available online for some time. This is the Trader Joe's lemongrass coconut body oil with almond and jojoba oils. Gentle, light, and aromatic. Moisturizes skin without being greasy. No animal testing. This lighting. 4.8 ounces. It has all kinds of good stuff back there. But yeah, the clerk was like, she's so excited about it. That she's been using it and she loves it. Because um, I almost got the coconut body butter. But I went for this one. Because I'm thinking, I want to try and use it like maybe... Maybe very lightly around, like, on my face. I don't know. Me and coconut oil don't get along. So, I might just test it out in a little area. But that was $3.99. And then last, but certainly not least, I got some wine. For, how much was the, oh, it's on a separate, um receipt but i know it was like eight nine dollars um so yeah the story is we went in to trader joe's and we were you know all over the place getting stuff and he picked out the beer and i remember him asking me like you know is this okay and i'm like yeah sure you know i'll probably like it well then fine we go through the store get out we're in the car He's still on the phone with his boyfriends, by the by the way. Boyfriends? Yes, your boyfriends. You were on the phone. He couldn't even think in there. He couldn't. He could not multitask. It was so funny. But anyways, um, you were running around <laughs> trying to figure out dinner. Another time. Story for another day. But anyways, so I'm sitting there in the car and I'm like, you know, six beers. Is that going to be enough for us? Because when we cook and we're, you know, having a little drink or whatever. Um, yeah. He can, he'll finish those by himself. Um, or at least a few of them. And then, you know, I may or may not be left with any. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and get, actually, I think he said, well, do you want to go back and get some more? Total Alkies and why nuts over here. So, yeah, I went back and got some more. And then I was trying not to take so much time, you know. I was like, boyfriend's waiting in the car. He's getting bratty, da 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 But she was acting a little better because he got his beer. But I was like, you know what? Do I want beer, though? Because I was going to get Whole Garden, which he bought me a case of Whole Garden. But guess what? He drank it all. So, yeah, you're laughing over here, aren't you? And, um, so, long story short, I ended up picking up, uh, choosing a wine based on the packaging, okay? And I try not to do that. I try to know what I'm doing when I'm picking out wines, but whatever. It is what it is. I got this one. I love black and white. This one's Lazy Bones. 
Paso Robles, it's a California. Cabernet Franc. Vintage to an T16. I didn't notice that one. But yeah, I liked the the picture on it. That was cool. I really wish this glare was in here. Maybe you can see better right there. So yeah, we'll we'll see. I think it's so yeah, it's like a red wine. It says the best part of wasting the whole day is that it's wholly yours to wait waste. Let me see if you can see the back. She can read all of that. So it's 13.9% alcohol by volume. I haven't had wine in a long time. But I was thinking of my friend Helen Lewis. She likes her wine. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to pour myself a glass right now. Probably with some of that Caesar salad to hold me over until dinner's done. Which, that's boyfriend's job. He's doing all the cooking. So yeah, you guys, that's it. Um, I hope you're doing well. Stay safe. Thanks for stopping by the Crazy Monkey channel. Uh, subscribe. Tap the bell. Because if you don't tap the bell, you're not going to, you know follow along with all the madness that goes on here so all right you guys bye ciao for now